All right, everyone, it's time for Occult Literature, video 169, The Secret of the Success of the Ouija Board. Very, very interesting work from a century ago. Link in the description of my edition of this work on Amazon. Second and third links, of course, to my books, blogs. Um, you, know, you can get other works, uh, not on Ouija, but on sort of the psychic and seance sort of material from that period. Quite a few. I think there's like 20, 30 titles, essentially, about that subtopic. Uh, very interesting work. It's extremely short. It's under 30 pages, so be warned. Um, but it's one of the most bizarre works I think I've ever read because it makes two basic fundamental claims here that are of note. The first is that the Ouija board is a telegraph to, to God, uh, by which they mean the Christian God. This is written by people in what was then the Alaska Territory at the dawn of the 20th century. So like, hey, we got a Ouija board because, you know, eight months out of the year, there's nothing else to do other than maybe drink. <laughs> and uh, wasn't there, no, there wasn't prohibition yet in that era. 1908 or whatever it was. I don't think it had been enacted yet. They're probably temperance era housewives and they're having fun. Uh, and then it makes the claim that the Ouija board is actually the result. It's It's got a, like a little miniature angel or an elf or something in it. Like a little spirit inhabits the board and helps God communicate with you. And, and it spells out, therefore, of course, very Christian things about flowers and, and getting along and, and worshiping and, and being a nice person and how lovely the world is. Now, it's very, very, very strange material. And it was written by a pair of, of you know, what would probably be older ladies at the time. Uh, and they actually talk about the second section of it is a long sort of a spiel about Tom Thumb, the, the name of this, like, I guess, a little elf spirit or what a hidden folk, whatever you want to term it, that lives in the Ouija board, and how, like, he, he, you know, sleeps with sparrows and dances around the morning glory flowers and stuff like that. And it's almost like the sort of thing, and I've, I've read some of these works from, like, the, the late 50s through the 70s and sort of that feel-good, increasingly flower child era. Uh, in, in which you get, you know, acid-soaked sort of lore, you know, the Urania sort of astrology stuff. <clears throat> very, very interesting. Uh, it's a very good work. It's well-written. It's definitely worth taking a look at. I don't know how authentic some of the occultism is, although the idea of hidden folk in the pagan sense is accepted. I know of no pagan group that ascribes that to the Ouija board, and I don't think they think that their gods communicate with you through one. Uh, I know a lot of Christians in the modern era spurn Ouija boards and think they're like satanic. Um, early on, as you can see if you read this, it was actually considered just, it was considered perfectly acceptable. The idea of magic, as we hold it now being evil or negative among Christian groups, wasn't really around in the Victorian era. White magic was considered perfectly acceptable and in fact, uh, not a taboo subject, but a virtue. It was considered virtuous to use the healing arts and stuff. If you uh, listen to any of Emil Hartman's works, he, he prescribes various prayers for specific conditions that appear in the form of invocations to the Lord, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, and various things like that. So it's interesting to see the difference between sort of the Christianity, late 1800s through roughly the 1920s, and, and as the fire and brimstone 30s come, and certainly the, the apocalyptic sort of lore of the 40s and thereafter, with the atomic era especially, uh, and you know, the world's ending in artillery fire, uh, when you look at that sort of thing, it's a huge disconnect, so it's an interesting period work as well, again, dawn of 20th century. Again, link in the description of my edition of this work on Amazon, highly recommended both for humor and for its uh, you know, period sort of you know, history. Uh, second and third links are to my books, blogs, both on Blogspot and WordPress. That's about all. Peace out.